friends. I know there's a lot of just negative shit out there right now because it is the internet, but you know, I thought, hey, you know what, why not share a fun, memorable story from my past, something that makes me feel happy and still makes me feel happy to reflect on, and I'll share it with you guys, and maybe you can get some joy out of it, you share one of your favorite memories. Of course, this one will be gaming related because that's kind of my hobby and my passion, but hey, you know what, share whatever the fuck you want to share. Now, this story isn't going to be anything amazing, nothing that's going to go viral, or it's not even really have a real arc, but you know, what the hell, let's just share happy, happy shit. So. One of my fondest memories was when I was a little girl, let's say, in middle school, I, I want to say, and when my parents would work during the day and I would be on summer vacation, they wouldn't let me stay home alone because I was maybe 11, 12, 13, and they didn't trust their daughter in a room and a house full of knives. So they would take me over to my grandma's house, and as many of you know, my grandma is the one who got me into video gaming. She's the one who taught me um, what a controller was, what video games were. And I just owe so much to her, so I'm gonna get a little emotional with this. But anyway, so um, I always looked forward to going over to my grandma's house, and I would just sit on the couch and watch her play video games because that's what she did. And she played video games all day, and you know she was a productive member of society as well. But that was her hobby, and it still is her hobby. And I just think about those days of being so young and sitting on the couch, and early summer mornings, you know, when the sun was just barely up, and she would come in the room with her black cup of coffee, you know, the black coffee, the, the really strong shit that has such a potent smell, and she would just carry it in, she would sit it down on her table, she would pick up her PlayStation 2 controller, which is her console of choice, still is to this day, and just start playing whatever game it was she was playing. Um, you know, I remember her playing Xenogears a lot, and she would always have me help her with certain um, obstacles, certain puzzles. Because she, she claims that her arthritis prevented her. I think it was just more of a lack of hand-eye coordination, but don't tell her I said that. Um, something else that was really memorable is that her she would always play Dark Cloud. And Dark Cloud has always been like her game. Dark Cloud 1 and Dark Cloud 2. Like that's, just, that's her baby. She knows that game better than anyone I ever know. And she just knows it from top to bottom, left to right. And... And what was really cool too is she would go fishing a lot in Dark Cloud and she always got me really invested in what she was doing and why she was doing it. She'd always try to explain to me even though I barely understood because she was just talking like I knew the, as if I knew the game like she did and I never did. Um, and it was just, it was really fun and it just gives me, uh, it brings me back because <sighs> that's when my grandpa was still around and he would always, um, he would watch us. Go, she, he would watch my grandma go fishing and he never quite understood it and he would always just laugh and just shake his head as he sat at the at the dining table which is right next to it just be like Mabel I don't know what you're doing you you're weird Mabel but he always said it with a grin on his face and so I think of those early days um not early I mean that was 20 that was 15 years ago and uh, 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 those early mornings with her black smelly potent coffee and playing video games and the sun was just rising and my grandpa just kind of shaking his head reading the newspaper and yeah that was a, a really these are years of happiness it's okay <laughs> but uh yeah so gaming man it's it's really brought a lot of fond memories to my life and it's just this simple little stories like this that just really means so much so thank you for watching and please share any of your happy memories. Oh god, I didn't expect this at all. My makeup is running. Ah. <laughs>